<laughs> All my stuff's out of whack. Yeah, I had to reshoot this because my last segment lost audio. My microphone got unplugged from the transmitter. Oops. <laughs> Guess I'll start wearing the camera on this side. But yeah, I found this cool spot. I've never been up here before. I've lived in this town my whole life. I always heard about it, but I actually went up the, the trail. But now they got all these crazy solar panels up here. I'm seeing a bunch of crazy looks like nests up in the trees up in the back. I'm always seeing hawks and turkey vultures and stuff flying around this area. I like this out here. Chopping shit down, but yeah, I got a new toy. Picked up a little mini shotgun mic from Movo with the BYMM1. First time I ever really took it out and played with it. I got the mini shotgun mic set up and file mic with the receiver and the transmitter. It's not recording right now. Right now it's the shotgun mic. So this is the new setup. As you can see I already broke the shock mount here. Tried to glue it, didn't really glue too well. Yeah, that's great. Get pile receiver. Not the transmitter, but the receiver. And I got this little iPhone holder clip thing holding it in place. Piece of threaded quarter twenty rod. And just a wing nut on there. I had a, I had, actually had all this quarter twenty rod for making spool clamps for fixed guitars. So it worked out pretty good. Yeah, I like this little mic though. It's pretty nice. I mean, the shock mount is a piece of crap, I'll tell you that. It's not a shock mount, it's just like a cheap plastic clip holder thing that looks like it's supposed to be a shock mount, but it's not. <laughs> not even close. But as far as the mic sound, I think it sounds great. Um, definitely better than the camera. I mean, just from the quick tests that I made, ooh, I got a tick on me. Get off me a bastard. Yeah, time to get moving. Yeah, it's a nice mic. I'm be playing going back and forth. I use the uh, wireless for when I'm talking to the camera. So I could have the face detect going without having the autofocus click being picked up. And then this one I could do for environmental or if I got multiple people talking. That way I could just run the manual focus. I can't really do the face detect if I got more than one person on camera anyway, so... I'll just have to set up the manual and make sure nobody freaking moves. <laughs> Trying to get some of these cool ambient sounds here and some cool birds. I absolutely love this area up here though. I'm glad I came up here now. So much to explore. New place, hee ha close to home too. No clue where this trail goes or where it's going. <laughs> I'm assuming it goes up to the high school. Assuming. If I'm on the right trail that is. I might be back that way with the solar panels though. I kind of veered off from there. I'm going to head back to there later. I want to scout around that area. It looked like a cool area. Oh, this little swampy marsh area. Let's see what I can get.
this is where I thought I was seeing uh, nests up in the trees, but it must have just been an optical illusion because they're so twisty and bendy and shitty. Anyways, this is cool up here though. I still like it. Some houses like right over there and stuff. Oh, it looks like a road right there as a matter of fact. I see power lines. What's up with that? I'm not that far away from civilization. God damn it. I need to be farther away. Too many people in here. Oh. Cool little camping spot. Some you know, little makeshift kind of lean to or something going on over there. Looks like this was the fire pit. We were on here drinking. Should have brought a shot of tequila with me. I didn't even think of that. Damn it. I'm thinking about coming back up here later. Or maybe just stay out here. It's like 4.30 now. I got like three hours before sunset. Hope I got audio right now. Yeah, I do. Cool. I'm walking through Tick Central here. These giant frickin' Pricker ban pricker branch. <laughs> pricker branches. Pricker bushes. Whatever you call them. Pucker brush. I need to do a time lapse, I think. Starting to get some clouds rolling in here. Stop down so you can see them. These cloudules. Still got a little while till sunset, but there's the sun. Right over there. Fortunately, yeah, I got about a half a battery left on the ADD. Five D will last freaking weeks. All this is pictures. Let's go up that way. That catches my eye for some reason. I like that nice high spot. And he's definitely been partying up here. Still being like a body or something in that. It's starting to get freaking chilly out. Temperature is definitely dropping. They said it was supposed to be like freaking icy by morning. <laughs> yeah, welcome to New England. Fucking part two here. Okay, I like this shot. Let's see what I can get here. Uh, let's get here. Smashed by a knee on a rock. No, I need it wider. Definitely gotta go wider. Ooh, looky lucky. That's kinda nice. 5D sitting over there all cold and lonely. Just over an hour ago, I was like just up the hill back that way with my shirt off getting some sun. Now, I got the freaking hat on, I got my freaking sweatshirt on. <laughs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Welcome to fucking New England, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to get real cold this morning, too. Or this coming morning. <laughs> Battery's dying on the ADD. Hopefully, I'm gonna get one more time lapse out of this.
gonna be about it. I got the 5D over there doing a time lapse for another vlog. Battery's dying on the 80D. Uh, it's getting colder and colder by the second. Wind's picking up. I was hoping to stay out here till sunset, but I don't know what we're gonna get for a sunset. It's getting pretty cloudy now. But, oh well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All that good shit. Peace.